Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Hi! I am Kentley, and we are back playing Alan Wake. The big crybaby who can't think. There are only blank pages here. Ugh, out of my way. Okay, so Alan feels sicky woo. Whoa. Hey, Good buddy. evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? How about feeling we calm? Gar your nose yeah. a little more. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud that guy hasn't even looked that tough. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't Whee! suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Could have at least... We'll walk in some fresh air? Yes, put... it will do you good. Could have at least put me into a straitjacket. Not the stupid this thing. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing Gorilla. trip. Except for the ones who are particularly do? vulnerable, of course. Urgh. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet there's I bet a... Ah, <laughs> you said you bet as well. Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. No coffee mug? <gasps> An Xbox this 360! Way, oh my god! Night Springs. I don't get the reference. I'm a noob. Shut up, you! I'm going this way. And pet gorilla's not following. Huh. Elevator. Screw you! I ain't going in there. Hey, a bio. I'm a bio. Anyway, I guess we have to go in the elevator. You don't now, have much control Alan, over your patients. From past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. Lest I beat so your ass. So I'm just going to say this. Your wife Alice is dead. Is dead. Ah, I no. knew it! You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking. An obsession about light and nice darkness. Little plant holder a feeling thing. that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy you scenario calling me a narcissist? in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. <laughs> we Open go this the way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Can we go into here? Nah. Ah, pretty fall It's colors. all in your head. You've Shut been making up. it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Boom. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, <sighs> Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. You know, gotta give this game credit. The graphics are indeed somewhat pretty. Too bad you don't get to run around too much during the day to admire them. Like, that lake looks halfway decent. From here, anyway. Nice giant sundial. And I didn't check that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I miss here? Read. <clears throat> Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Teasy. In the memory of a dear friend and poet. That means he be dead. Yeah, I don't care about following Mr. Hartman. I care about finding coffee thermoses. Hopefully those were part of the delusion, because they're stupid. Dude, you don't have to wait up for me. You move slowly, and... Is it getting darker? Ooh, maybe the... <sighs> I never get tired of this view. I wouldn't die. Very either. inspiring, isn't it? It's pretty Golden cool. The lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. Oh, I that's thought I could that make is. out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived. Itchy. At 
Now there was nothing but waves. There aren't even waves, you idiot. It's a freaking calm ass lake. There's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. <sighs> this way. Follow me. It's called a convection storm, you idiot. They happen Alan, what in I'm the midst of a summer day. News. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Hyperbole After much? After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? Why it's very this? natural for you to think <clears throat> of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. After all, I'm the one trying to bring you out of the world you've constructed for yourself. But I can't I do it by myself. Of my hands to stay you need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Everyone in this game talks too much. Come along. Let's go inside. But yeah, why did it have to be the dark depths of my imagination? What? Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. Scary, scary, scary. Where are the straitjackets? <laughs> Emerson. I'm probably gonna have to kill that guy. Time to run away. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Ooh, a is confused enough as it is. I'm not scanning that yeah, QR code. Like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. What a boring okay. guy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. These cycles are boring. An insult to real psychos everywhere. <laughs> Shut up, nurse. Oh, am I supposed Come to be following this you? Way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been Sucks. writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. That's neat. What am I reading now? Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We are here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with the therapy and slash or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they don't they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily giving your treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Voluntary receiving. Wow, okay. Engagement therapy, trademark, and its sister method, the flow, trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them with your first. Get over here, Hartman. Ooh, what's in here? Does that see something glowing? My rheumatism is killing me. There's a okay. storm coming. Why am I in here? What a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Stupid and drunk these old people. two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, Not Thor. This, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. So we're halfway After the through band the let's play. Up, they lived on a farm nearby. And we've done they nothing. Are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm okay, can you shut up then? The rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that won't do. Oh, I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. 
Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Ew. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me. Oh, I can run now. Everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Bad dream, and you can't yeah. wake up. Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. George the storm's bound to make you know who Hartman jumped in. You know how they keys, get. But gotcha. there was no way to get my hands on them. Here, but holler if get too rowdy. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything it's else is blurred. Crazy. I'm trapped in this cabin. Hey, wait. Been for days, Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? My editor is Typewriter's in your room. I saw oh, I think it's that guy down You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. I'm in my room, damn it. Shut up and quit bossing me around. The glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Wait, there was a manuscript page? Afraid of the crazy brothers, are you? Might as well, F5. There's two of them. Zane could feel the blah blah blah. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Hartman kept talking. Blah blah blah. Yep, we already know about all that. Let us get back we to the now game. Are we? <laughs> well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> Sinclair looked back. That wasn't plugged. That wasn't there before. Hard hit her hard. If she the was backstage is all she yours, Tom. Seize your office. destiny. I'm taking all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Oh, so I have to go to the office. So that guy, that, that security guard is afraid of an old man with a hammer? What am I examining? The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. And the kidnapper. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman yes. had been playing me all along. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. These are cool. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot that I left that on. Oh, well. Hartman wasn't happy. Oh, Hartman. Uh, play the tape. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The party Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. Well, I, if you actually put out once in a while. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because <laughs> at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just, Alan doesn't ooh, really sleep. Ooh, and the ooh. work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. It's he's dancing. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. Quit asking him for sex. Say, I look at you. I want to know not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes. Uh. And I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but... He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone. 
It's a pun. Get it? Step on this here, crappy little fuckwork. Yeah, <laughs> doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. She just piss you off. I recognize the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. So, she's still a bitch for saying all that shit about you. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred! Open it. That's Pandora's box. There we go. Ow! About time! Oh. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I don't care about Barry. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh G -g 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 gun These were all the pages I had on me. And more. <laughs> Hit him, Barry. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Pardon, what shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and mine. Oh, we get to kill Hartman. <laughs> ah, that smirk. Okay, it's actual gameplay time, and of course we are left but with but with but a revolver. How about through the door? Oh crap! There's stuff everywhere. Open the lock, you idiot! I pressed E thrice. What? Open it! Oh shit, that shit's trying to- oh. Yeah, no problem. Screw you. Ah. Oh no, you don't- Hey! What's- Do you have a flashlight? Ow. Oh, come on, it's a bookshelf! Whoa. Hang on. Firstly, is that shit coming up still? Nah, it's just hanging out there. Okay, so I have a moment to think. I don't quite hear what he had to say. I think I need to find a flashlight. Or I can go up those stairs still. A vi- Whoa, that bear's kinda... He's very freaky! <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Run, Alan, run! No, oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on, it was right there. Suddenly the simple timing game isn't so simple, is it, Kent? Oh, bullshit! One, two... Did it work? Oh, I guess so. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, it died again. That's bull. Uh, ah! Fine. Die. Die! Uh, this furniture's taking forever to die. Oh, my way out is secure. Alright, let's run. Corey, Corey, Corey. Come on, Alan. It's been like ten steps and they were downstairs. What? Whatever. Whoa. 
Whatever. Alright, let's make sure I'm not missing. Yeah, I'll take a flare. Why not? Bear. Oh! Bugger off. Up. Uh, F for flare? I forget. Oh. God, what, what's going on? Yeah, just fucking fire another round since it's not switching to the flare I have and... Okay, let's go to the controls. Ugh. Direct aiming, blah blah. Key bindings. Where the freaking hell do I use a flare? Since it's not allowing me to select it. Select flare. Four. Let's try doing that since for some reason... Alright, whatever. So, come on, game. Really? Really? Can't freaking click up. You see me selecting it, why isn't it letting me use it? I don't even freaking know. <sighs> why can't I select the flare again? Maybe there's something I missed. I if that's the case, that's a pretty stupid way of telling me. Uh, ammo can't go back. No! I don't bloody know. It's not letting me select the fucking flare. What the hell, game? I, I hate this. Honestly, is it broken? Did I break the game? <sighs> I, I don't know, honestly. I'm... Uh, let's die and try again. You want some of this? <gasps> uh, I don't think so. You're gonna pay for that. Ugh, that didn't hurt. Come on, kill Alan already. <laughs> How's the coroner gonna explain that one? Alright, let's try it. Alright, so we got revolver ammo. There's the flare. Can I select it? I don't even think I've selected it. No! What is going on? To use the flare. Oh, middle click. I guess that because I don't know. Get out of my way, bears. That was very annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. What's going on? Oh, I see. Give it another hit, flying orb of death. I don't think you've opened it just yet. There you go, thank you. Uh, except that I need to dodge you now. Whee! Indiana. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Here we go, here we go. Worthless shadow. Let me guess, locked. Yep. Oh, but I have to deal with this dumbass thing again. Over here. You, you get through the door easier, more easily if you didn't roll. Didn't float before you rolled, you stupid thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ow! Hang on, hang on. I'm stuck! I'm fuck. I'm stuck! This way. Ouch. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to be doing here, but uh, I'm almost dead. Alright, 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 timing. Ha ha! I win, you lose. Ow, ow! I'm here! Aw, oh, you love me! <laughs> and, we're gonna call it an episode right here. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode.